Um, you may not get it because if you're not a teacher, you won't get it. If you just don't show up and you don't write them so that it's just like their class wasn't important to you. Is that what you're saying? And then it's going to bite you in the butt during exams because whatever was in the course, whatever happened in class, will pop up in the exam. So you may want to, you know, pop your head in in office hours and let them know what happened and ask them what you missed so that you could have all the information and you won't suffer the consequences of missing class. So go there, go to tutoring. Tutoring, you can go to tutoring with questions, without questions. Um, you were being confused, like, at cer certain days I would have a sheet full of questions, okay? Other days I'd have like two, three questions, and other people will come, they'll have their questions, you will benefit from listening to them. So go to tutoring, okay? That will help you tremendously. Um, and other days I was just like, <laughs> I'm so confused, I don't know if I need help. All right, now that we've gone through one sheet of paper we got another one i have like four yeah this video is definitely gonna be two two parts all right so before class this is what i do before class i would listen to the lectures online right sometimes or blackboard like they would post my professors would post um the lectures online so i would listen to the lectures online I would read the book, I would scan through the book, right, and then I would read it, and then to test my understanding of what I just read, I would go in the back of the book where they have, like, um, quizzes and stuff, so I would, like, quiz, quiz myself, and if I didn't understand something, I would reread it, and then that would help me prepare. Along the way, I did have questions, I would write those questions down on a piece of paper and make sure that piece of paper was with me during class. Okay, so during class, I like sitting up front, like that's what I do during class. Uh, this is the first thing, on the first day, try to establish yourself up front because once you sit up front, there's no distractions, you know, you don't, you want to avoid as much distractions as possible. So if you're sitting up front, what um, Kimberly is doing in the back is not going to take away from your attention. So. If you're all in the back, of course, you're going to be paying attention to all the people and then you're going to be distracted and you're not focused. But sit up front, you'll be fine. Ask your written questions if you're not the shy type. If not, you could ask after class. I would say to stay engaged. L actively listen. Listen to the professors. Like, you know, your life depended on it because it kind of does. Like, just make sure you attend every class. If you don't, if you can't attend every class, make sure you let the professor know ahead of time. If you if you know ahead of time that you're going to miss it, if you didn't know and something popped up, um, let them know as soon as possible. Because if you're if you miss class and a week goes by, you don't let them know. They don't know what's going on with you. It's just it's kind of disrespectful, and also they could be worried about you. Um, yeah, so just ask, and you don't want to wait until last minute. If you miss class. Um, go and talk to the teacher right away or email them, let them know what, what, ha what happened or else they're gonna, just going to think that you don't care and it's also disrespectful towards them. Um, you may not get it because if you're not a teacher, you won't get it. If you just don't show up and you don't write them so that it's just like their class wasn't important to you. Is that what you're saying? And then it's going to bite you in the butt during exams because whatever was in the course, whatever happened in class will pop up in the exam. So you may want to, you know, Pop your head in in office hours and let them know what happened and ask them what you missed so that you could have all the information and you won't suffer the consequences of miss missing class. So, while you're in class, right, you take notes, stay engaged, write your notes down and then write them down in your own words what you've learned today. So that also helps so that you're, you know that you know the material. Um, during class, I would say record the lecture with the professor's permission. That helped me, okay? Even though I would listen to the pre-recorded lecture, listening to the class dis discussion on my way home after class helped me, okay? Because I was able to, like, you know, this. I walked out 
got some fresh air and then listened to the lecture and then it kind of made sense listening to the, to the information twice. Um, review the information right away so it stays fresh in your mind. Review the PowerPoints because it just it helps you remember it that much, you know, that much more. Um, I listen to pre-recorded lectures on my way home, when I'm at the grocery store, like I was saying, at the laundry, at the gym, wherever I have a free, I have some free time, I listen to lectures because it just helps me stay on top of everything. Um, I was in um, microbiology, pre-records, I was taking my prerequisites, right? And it was a five-hour lecture because I was taking it during the summer. So so normally, if the lectures were two hours and a half, now they were five hours. During that five-hour course, most like the one thing I really struggled with was um, the genetics part of microbiology. It like threw me off. I could not understand what they were saying after two hours of just sitting there and listening to the lecture. Like, I, as much as I really enjoyed microbiology, after two and a half hours of that part of the... the I was saying, I think getting cut off. I need to make sure it's recording. Okay, good. So, like I was saying, as much as I love microbiology, I really like that class. I enjoyed it. The genetics part of it kept throwing me off. Um, so, yeah, I recorded the lecture, and I... The class ended at around, I think it was 9 to 3 or 9 to 2, I don't remember, but it was a 5 hour course during the summer. So after class ended, I left, I, I left and I went outside, had some fresh air, I went and ate lunch and then I went back to the library and I was just like, let me sit down and replay what he was saying. So I sat there, played the recorded lecture, and all of a sudden, everything made sense. And I was just like, oh my god, like, I have to record. Like, at a certain point, and the reason why I started recording the lectures with his permission, I recorded the lectures because um, I just felt like I didn't, like, he was speaking too fast at a certain point. I couldn't understand what he was saying because I was just so tired, like, after. I was really tired and really overwhelmed specifically because of the genetics part of microbiology. For some reason, I just couldn't wrap my brain around it. Um, I felt, I was sitting in the classroom, I felt defeated, and I felt like, oh my God, I may not make it in this class because I just can't wrap my brain around what he's saying. Um, mind you, it was a five-hour course. After two and a half hours, I just... Everything he was saying, I wanted to understand, I wanted to hear him out, but everything kept entering one ear and exiting out, exiting out the other, and I just, I started freaking out during the class, in class, and I was just like, oh my god, what's happening, I need to do well in this class, I need to be accepted into, into the dental hygiene program, if I don't do well, oh my god, I'm gonna have to do this again, I don't, like, maybe I'm not, I just had like a lot of negative thoughts in my mind, and then something told me. Just record the lecture and do it like listen to it after class and you'll be fine and I did just that and when I went to the library it was just like oh my god because I had a I had a time to just you know step out of the classroom I ate lunch and I went to the library and it was just like like I understand what he's saying like how could like I was not able to understand what he was saying before because I was overwhelmed I was in the classroom I was just I couldn't hear him anymore after two hours like I needed a break which is why I was telling you guys you guys have to take a break when a break is um, needed otherwise you're just sitting there trying to absorb new information that can't like your brain is oversaturated you need a break like it was just a genetics but everything else was fine but it was just that part and recording ever since then I just started recording lectures and so that really helped me in dental hygiene school, which is why I'm like just such a huge fan of like recording lectures and listening. So this, I got this tip recorder too, because I didn't want to keep recording on my phone because I, certain, I, I had like the really old iPhone to be honest. And 
it there was not enough space in it so I bought a recorder so I could like download it on my computer and just listen to it um yeah that really helped me so like I was saying right after class there could be you know review sessions held um if you need additional help go there go to tutoring tutoring you can go to tutoring with questions without questions um you're being confused like at certain days i would have a sheet full of questions okay other days i'd have like two three questions and other people will come they'll have their questions you will benefit from listening to them so go to tutoring okay that will help you tremendously um and other days i was just like I don't know. i'm so confused i don't know if i need help i don't i just i need help okay I need, I need a hug, I need a bottle, I need a direction in my life, just help me, don't let me drown. That was just me, like, just go to tutoring if you need help. Because even if you're confused about what you're confused about and you don't know what to ask, someone will, will ask a question and that will, you know, light a light bulb in your head. So just go to tutoring. And don't wait till the day before the exam to ask for help because it gets very painful. And you shouldn't impose an emergency on other people's lives I guess like the tutor you can't just be like oh my god I'm gonna fail I need help and you can't do that because that's not you know that's not their problem like you should have been taking care of it and I'm letting you know now it's gonna be a problem if you don't study every day if you don't stay consistent on your studying because all of a sudden this exam pops up and you're not prepared for it so you gotta be consistent you gotta know where you need help you gotta seek it um, yeah so it gets very painful the day before the exam because I've had that experience okay um, I had no idea when an exam was popping up and I felt luckily I went to class right I went to class I recorded a lecture okay I listened to the lecture but the thing is I didn't know that exam was popping was coming I thought it was like a week from that day so I hadn't I was not um, pre prepared well prepared for it to take it the, the next day so as soon as I, I was like oh my god I thought I, like someone told me like it was like a concept exam um, tomorrow and I was just like oh my god I thought that was next week I don't know how I I must I don't remember what happened to be honest like the whole hygiene school experience it was just like a blur like so many things happen like you were just like after one semester you don't remember like once you're in the next semester you don't know what happened last semester you're gonna see like it's just when you're being pulled everywhere you just you forget it hurts physically emotionally and spiritually like i was just like oh my like my whole life just flashed in front of my eyes i'm like oh my god this is it i'm gonna fail this test and i'm i'm done like the entire hygiene school is over for me like they're gonna kick me out and yeah so i just like you know what i ran to i ran to my powerpoint and my tape recorder and i listened to the lectures that the exam was going to be on and that saved me like that really helped me out and i just like i mean i mean i was freaking out while i was doing it but i come i managed to calm myself down while everything was everything started to make sense okay so that helped me um, and I got a B, so that was that was okay. That really like boost my confidence. I'm like, girl, you did that by yourself in 24 hours, <laughs> okay? But I wasn't gonna get cocky and do that again. I made sure every other exam I was on top of after that day, cause I only did one lesson to learn from my mistake, and I didn't do it again, okay? Um, I didn't want others. Yeah. Also, somebody else was like Karen. I was, I was telling somebody else how I studied in 24 hours 24 hour period they were like karen why don't you just ask me for help i'm like i'm i don't know why i just i don't like bothering someone who is not there to help like it was a classmate that was like karen you could have just asked me we could have studied together first of all that was really sweet of them second i don't do well studying with others i study best by myself because i can focus on what i'm doing because somebody else next to me i'm gonna talk to them ask them how they're doing and I'm not gonna be focused on what I'm doing and it's just I don't know like when I'm saying with somebody else I'll just feel like I'm ignoring them their next I don't know that's just me I can't focus on other people when I'm sitting I gotta 
isolate myself when I'm studying and then if I once I know certain things then we could just combine our knowledge like teach each other what we understand from what we've read so that's just me I don't know if that works for everyone else but yeah um yeah also I didn't want to ask someone for help because I felt like my emergency was my problem like I should have I should have known better like I should have known when the, when the exam was I should have been on top of everything like another thing like you're not gonna be on top of everything you just gotta keep going like as soon as the punch comes you just gotta take it and keep moving forward like don't look back only look back to see how far you've come don't look back and just linger on and no you just roll with the punches you're not always gonna be organized but you just gotta keep trying to stay organized it's not it's not perfect you're not gonna be perfect listen I'm not organized, but I fight to stay organized, and I, like, if I want something, I'm committed, and I want it, I'm, I'm going to get it, and, yeah, that's just, you just gotta have that personality, and that's, like, make it in the world, basically, if you want anything in life, right? So, I have a take care of your health section, okay? Take care of your health. In general, like your mental health, your physical health, because the better you feel, the more energy you have to put forward into your studies. 